A snow emergency is designed to limit on-street parking during a large winter weather event in order for plows to completely clear the streets. The uh, trouble that a plow driver is going to have when there's parking on both sides of the street is very congested and we cannot get the snow to the curb where it needs to go. This process has major impacts for those who park on the streets, so let's walk through the steps. When is a snow emergency declared? We try to make sure that a snow emergency is warranted. Other communities may just declare it when they see the snow coming, but it needs to be warranted because it is a very large event. The city manager, the public works director, and the street superintendent review several factors during a winter event. We look at how much snow is currently on the ground, what is forecasted, are there parking issues. Once declared, how does a snow emergency impact on-street parking? First rule, follow all existing street signs. Second rule, drivers must pay attention to whether it's an odd or even date. Streets that normally permit parking on both sides will switch to alternate parking. You can only park on the side of the street that corresponds with that odd or even date. For example, if a snow emergency is declared on the 13th, vehicles can be parked on the odd side of the street. The following day, the 14th, cars would need to be moved to the even side of the street. Streets that only allow parking on one side will still have to follow the marked traffic rules during a snow emergency. That means if parking is allowed on the odd-numbered side of the street, vehicles can park on that side only on odd-numbered days such as the 13th. But on even-numbered days, like the 14th, no parking would be allowed on the street. If you're on a street that already rotates alternative parking on the odd and even sides of the street, then you simply continue to follow those marked parking rules. Once declared, how much time do you have to move your vehicle? And we want to give people ample time to move their vehicles. Typically, the snow emergency would take effect four hours after we've called it. If declared after 8 p.m., the snow emergency ordinance will not go into effect until 8 a.m. the following day. These emergencies will last at least two days, and even longer if conditions warrant. When a snow emergency is declared, the city allows vehicle owners to park in city ramps overnight, but they must be out by 7 a.m. to avoid charges. People can also use the parking lots in Lower City Park, Mercer Park, and Happy Hollow Park. How do I know if a snow emergency has been declared? The city will alert the public using several methods, but the most direct is to sign up for notifications through our e-subscription service. That allows you to get email or text alerts. Notifications will also be posted on the City of Iowa City's website, as well as Facebook, Twitter, and Nextdoor. Commuters would be alerted by traffic signs placed around town. There are signs posted through the main thoroughfares as you come into town to notify you that there is a snow emergency taking place. What are the repercussions if I don't follow the ordinance? The consequences that you can face by not following the snow emergency is that your vehicle would likely be towed. There is a ticket that comes along with that as well as a towing expense and it can lead to upwards of $200 just in costs if, if you don't move your vehicle. The city's goal is not to have this happen, so please make sure to stay alert in the event that a snow emergency is declared. I'd like to thank all the residents for being patient with us. Our goal is to get people to and from where they're going as safely as possible, and that does take patience with all the residents that we have. 